So what exactly is life in 3D? I've been getting pummeled with this question. People are asking, hey, is it something we have to work at to live a three-dimensional life? Isn't life already three-dimensional? And the answer is, well, sort of. Now, what we're saying life in 3D is life in Christ. It's living life as God meant it to be lived. It's living in all of God -given, God's given dimensions. You know, the Bible uses this very powerful imagery about life in Christ. It says we actually are a new creation in Christ. Behold, all things become new. We see things, things with this new God-given perspective. And we've been saying in our advertising, life in 3D, it's your greatest God-given dreams come true. And then when your dreams are dashed, we're saying life in 3D, life in Christ, even your disappointments can be turned into opportunities. And we've been saying, life in 3D, life in Christ is God's desires becoming your desires, your desires becoming God's desires. That's where we're going to go over these next three weeks. But this week. So my question for you today is, what concerns you? Andy Stanley, in his book, Visionary, in which I've mentioned, he uses as a backdrop to the book, the Old Testament book of Nehemiah. The events recorded in the book of Nehemiah occurred around 600 B.C., what had happened is the Babylonian nation had conquered the nation of Israel and taken many Israelites into captivity, leaving their capital city of Jerusalem in rubble. Fast forward 70 years. The nation of Babylon is conquered by the Persian nation. The Persian king shows more favor towards the Jews than the Babylonian king did. In fact, he gives them permission to rebuild their desolated city, its walls and its internal structure. And then enters, well, I, what I should say is it went well for a while, for a time. Everything was looking good, but then just faded. The building stopped. The reconstruction stopped. Then enters Nehemiah. 